this is Dr. Jenny and I want to go through this uh, little exercise so you can see some of the possibilities with uh, manipulating data in Excel. In, ex in this exercise we have a local travel company has been losing sales. Uh, they feel like it's based uh, because of competitors like Travelocity and Expedia and they also feel that their strongest uh, point is to do uh, international travel because they're good at, at complex arrangements. Uh, they want you to analyze the sales data to design a better marketing strategy. Now there are some questions here. I mean we're doing the Excel, we're trying to analyze the Excel here. But first of all, uh, are they losing sales? Is the competitors that they point out really the, the issue? Um, we, we're given data here, but if you notice it doesn't include any domestic data. This is all international travel. I'd like to compare it to uh, the domestic uh, travel. And they want us to analyze these prior sales to design a better marketing strategy. And I'm not sure that th just understanding this data is going to help us with that, except some. It will help us some. So one of the things I want to do is show you that uh, I, this is where I left off with a previous video where I'm showing you uh, how to come up with just doing a regular pivot table. Uh, here we have the rows and uh, salesperson of value is sum of ticket. So we can tell that Lisa and Vivian are the top ticket sellers. Uh, and then if I essentially want to uh, use a slicer here, I can tell, um, you know, in each area um, where the top ticket selling uh, salesman would be because obviously if they're a top ticket selling in a certain area, they may have expertise in that, may help with the strategy. So it's more than just understanding the data, it's also understanding what people you might want to talk to. But what I wanted to show you in this uh, specific um, video is that you can actually through Power Pivot, which is a new piece in uh, Office uh, Professional Plus uh, using Excel 2013, we can actually link one uh, slicer here to multiple charts. And the reason that's important is because I can click, for example, here on Andrew, I can see what day of the week he sold the t his tickets, uh, which month was the best month for him, and also which destinations were the best for him uh, for over the entire period. So, um, you know, I can I can put this in here, and this slicer drives it, and I can add sep other slicers in here as well, um, so that if I wanted to. Um, you know, look at other specific information I could. Now the advantage of using Power Pivot in this as well is because what I may want to do is to uh, look at data of domestic flights and compare it across the board. Uh, it could be that, uh, for example, Lisa and Vivian are good at domestic uh, flights as well at selling tickets. Uh, and let me go back to this one slicer here uh, where if we put this in here, we can see that Lisa and Vivian are our best sellers uh, with the international uh, complex tickets, but we may find that they're our best regardless. So we, you know, that may be additional information you want to know. Anyway, I'm hoping that this kind of helps you see um, some of the things that you can do. This actually is, um, you know, a pivot. If I go up here and click on this, you're going to see this data show up here. And essentially, this is the uh, part of Power Pivot that I've done. I've created a calendar that comes up with the weekday name and the data. So I've done some extra steps in here, but I just wanted to show you what's uh, what you're able to do uh, with Power Pivot, so that uh, you'll realize that this really does help you visualize data and help you think of other things that might influence. Uh, your strategy. So with that, I'll, I'll let you go uh, and let you get back to doing your brainstorming session.